Now comes the third and the last expansion that is the volume expansion or cubical expansion. Volume or cubical expansion. When a solid is heated and its volume increases, when a solid is heated and its volume increases, then the expansion is called volume expansion or cubical expansion. Then the expansion is called volume expansion or cubical expansion. Let us consider a solid. Let us, let us consider a solid or liquid whose original volume is V0. Solid or liquid whose original volume is V0. When it is heated to a new volume then the change in volume is when it is heated to a new volume then the change in volume will be then the change in volume will be delta V is equals to gamma V naught delta T. Hence we can write gamma is equals to delta V upon V naught delta T. Again the unit of gamma will be unit of gamma is centigrade inverse or Calvin inverse. From here, I can write a relation between alpha, beta and gamma. Relation between alpha, comma, beta, comma, gamma, which is for isotropic solids. The relation is alpha is to beta is to gamma is equals to 1 is to 2 is to 3 or I can write alpha upon 1 is equals to beta upon 2 is equals to gamma upon 3. Here we finish with the three expansions, three thermal expansions. Now we see the effects of these thermal expansions. Hence effects effects of thermal expansion. First, variation of time period of pendulum clocks. Variation of time periods time period of pendulum clocks. Let the Time period of pendulum clock Bt. Let the time period of pendulum clock Bt and length at and length at temperature theta naught and theta temperature theta naught and theta B L naught and N respectively. B L naught and N L B respectively. Respectively. Thus T is equals to 2 pi under root L naught upon G at temperature theta naught at temperature theta naught and T dash is equals to 2 pi under root L upon G at temperature theta. At temperature theta. If I take the ratio between T dash and T, I will get under root of L naught 1 plus alpha delta theta upon L naught. If I cancel L naught, L naught, I will get 
under root of 1 plus alpha delta theta. Using binomial expansion, I can write binomial expansion. I can write d dash upon p is equals to 1 plus 1 upon 2 alpha delta theta. Therefore, change that is loss or gain, loss or gain in time per unit time lapsed is in time per unit time lapsed is delta t is equals to 1 by 2 alpha delta theta sorry delta t upon t is equals to 1 upon 2 alpha delta theta therefore gain or loss in time duration of t is gain or loss in time t in time duration of t is delta t is equals to 1 upon 2 alpha delta theta into small t. Conclusion A. Theta is less than theta naught comma or capital T is less than T. Clock becomes fast. Sorry. T dash is less than T. Clock becomes fast and gain time. Second, if theta is greater than theta naught, that is t dash is greater than t, clock becomes slow and lose time. Clock becomes slow and lose time. Now let us see measurement of length by metallic scales. Measurement of length by metallic scales. First is the case when object is expanded. When object is expanded only. Then the equation is L2 is equals to L1 bracket start 1 plus alpha naught bracket start theta 2 minus theta 1 and bracket close where L1 is actual length of object at theta 1 degree centigrade actual length of object of object at theta 1 theta 1 degree centigrade theta 1 degree centigrade which is equals to measured length of object at theta 1 degree centigrade measured length of object at theta 1 degree centigrade L2 is equals to actual length of object actual length of object at theta 2 degree centigrade which is equal to measured length of object at theta 2 degree centigrade measured length at theta 2 degree centigrade alpha naught is linear expansion coefficient linear expansion let's draw the diagram if this is L1, length of the object at theta 1 degree centigrade and after expansion it becomes L2 at theta 2 degree centigrade. If I measure this, then it was 0, 2, 3, k second. When only measuring instrument is expanded, actual length of object 
will not change but measured value decreases when only measuring instrument is expanded actual length of object not change but measured value mv decreases measured value decreases this is given by measured value is equals to l1 1 minus alpha s theta 2 minus theta 1 alpha s is coefficient of linear expansion of measuring instrument of measuring instrument case 3 if both are expanded simultaneously if both are expanded simultaneously then measured value becomes L1 1 plus alpha naught minus alpha s into theta 2 minus theta 1. Again there are two cases A if alpha naught is greater than alpha s then measured value is more than actual value then measured value is more than actual value at theta 1 degree centigrade and B is the case when alpha naught is less than alpha s then measured value is less than the actual value then measured value is less than the actual value at theta 1 degree centigrade.